I'm currently involved in, in doing research with several species of Alaskan ice seals. So the overall project that we work on is called FOCUS, which stands for the Physiology and Health of Cooperating Arctic Seals. So as part of this project, we're working with three different species of Alaskan ice seals, and we're doing that work across two different facilities, the University of California at Santa Cruz and the Alaska Sea Life Center. These seals are uh, free-ranging wild seals that live much of their lives in really dark conditions, in unstable ice or in ice uh, that is far offshore. Um, so they live in places that's very hard for scientists to get to. So it's hard for us to know what um, the constraints are that are acting on individual seals over their lifetimes. That's something we really want to learn more about. Um, we are trying to learn a little bit about the energy budgets of ice seals and all that really means is how much energy do they take in in the form of food and calories and how much energy do they expend in the different activities that they need to do. And the simplest way that we can begin that process is to start out by um, measuring the energetic cost of rest. What we're actually looking for is basically how much energy it takes to be a seal. The basic setup is we have a dome attached to our analyzers and our equipment. And we draw, through, uh, we draw air through the dome and into our equipment. The seals go into the dome and as they breathe and exhale, we can see how much oxygen is consumed, which basically translates to how much energy, how much oxygen is required for energy within that period of time that they're in the dome. You'll see um, a single line that propagates across the screen, and that is the percentage of oxygen inside the dome from the time that the animal goes in to the time that the animal leaves. So to do this work, we need the support of lots of different types of people. And that uh, ranges from behaviorists like myself to animal physiologists, but it also includes the work of um, animal trainers and animal care specialists. So our researchers have these really great questions and I get to know the animal to get them to participate in get data for those questions um, through cooperative behavior. This is what's really, really great and cool about this project is that our animals are our research partners. Training is such a vital part of this study. Uh, we see ourselves as the instructor or the teacher to the animal. The reason that this is really important is this is a project that has longevity. Uh, and to be able to collect data day in and day out, um, these animals have to have the willingness to do this every single day, um, and it's such a vital part of the success of the project. When I step up to a session with our SEALs, uh, the dome is there, and they have access to the dome. Um, so they are choosing to go in and out of the dome on their own will. And this is where my job, that I have to make sure that our animal knows the expectations of going into the dome, being calm and being relaxed um, for a certain duration of time uh, to set them up for success uh, so they know exactly what they're supposed to do. We're very interested in what's happening with these animals because of the fact that the um, Arctic is changing very rapidly. And in particular, we're seeing a dramatic loss of sea ice. Um, we're really interested in determining how these um, Alaskan seals are gonna respond to those changes in their environment not just because we care about seals, but because we care about the environment as a whole. And um, these ice seals are really top predators in their ecosystems, and they are gonna signal to us something about the changes that are occurring in the environment. We have a, uh, an idea of how much a whole day in the life of a seal costs. And um, when we know that information, we can use it to answer questions like, what are the consequences of sea ice loss in the Arctic? Maybe those seals will have to dive deeper or swim further to find their food. And we can use our studies here in the lab to understand what type of an effect that will have on an individual seal trying to make it through the day.